Hi guys, welcome to the flight today as we are in a lovely Birmingham Airport and we're going to do a flight to Amsterdam Schiphol. It's going to be a nice flight with two airlines today. I couldn't as get hold of the KLM livery today, so it's going to be with two. We've got the FS Group SOP2, which should give us our lovely real life flows and checklists. We've also got in the GSX, so we've got our cabin crew, passengers, etc. And we've got our uh, electronic flight bag, which is now in with the uh, PMDG aircraft, which will give us more realistic takeoff performance and make the aircraft a little bit more realistic for us on our made up flight. So, today we're leaving for around 60 tons of uh, weight, and we should be on a D rated takeoff out of runway 15. We're going to be arriving in on runway 18 right with the Red for One Alpha arrival transitioning over and the skippable VOR with the Sierra Papa Lima. And don't forget to like and subscribe on the video guys as I do always appreciate your support. So let's get into the cockpit and start up this lovely 737-800. Here we are now in the 737-800 cockpit. We've just got to do a few uh, procedural uh, pre-start checklist and then we can get the aircraft ready out on the tarmac to take off. So we go overhead, we've got the battery which is also on with the ground power as per usual. We'll arm the electric uh, emergency lights, we'll get the IRS 1 and 2 already into nav so we can pre-arm and align the IRS for the position of the aircraft. Chimes and a faster seatbelts can go on with the window heats. And the packs can go to auto. The isolation valve is open. The APU bleed can be opened as well for when we start the APU. Going to go for a flight level of 270 minus 13 on the elevation for Amsterdam and Schiphol. So whilst that's already done, we've got the aircraft's flight plan, which is already in on Simbrief. So we can go and get that as well. So we just go in and get the Iris's position in, which is ready. So we've got Echo Golf, uh, Bravo Bravo for Birmingham. Left GPS and uh, punch that in and there is our lovely displays all lit up for us. So we go to the route, we can hit the uh, company route, which is going to be Echo Golf, Bravo Bravo, Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. And activate that through. We're going to be taking the Daventry to Yankee departure out of runway 15 today. So runway 15, the Daventry to Yankee. And on the arrival, we've got the ILS 418 right. We've got the Red Fur 1 Alpha arrival. And we've got Sybil, which is the transition. So that is all pretty much set and checked for us today. We can go overhead and get the APU started as we are going to be leaving in approximately 8 minutes time and whilst that gets done I am going to start the pre-flight procedures and go through the departure brief with you as well. So we'll start the departure brief and then we'll get everything all in for the arrival. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay, it's going to be a standard pushback and start of the stand. Taxi route will be assigned by ATC. It will be a left seat takeoff using an assumed temperature. Anti ice will be off. Standard reject actions to V1 as briefed. From V1, or if the call is continued, I will continue to take off as per the standard company procedures. The engine up procedure today is as per the chart. We are over our maximum landing weight, so if we are able, we will hold and burn off fuel before returning to the airport. Okay, all going well, the departure routing will be via the ATC assigned SID, complying with all public speed and altitude restrictions. No nose abatement procedure required. Any questions, comments or concerns? No questions. Departure brief complete. Okay, so departure brief is all complete. I'm just going to do this uh, out on the flaps 5, we've got N190, uh, the 
acceleration heights 15 and 54 on the cell term trim 4.13. So let's go and get it all done. We've got our reserves of one today on the aircraft for the fuel. Cost index is going to be 25. We've got flight level 270. On the top of climb winds, it's going to be a minus 52. And transition is going to be 6,000. Cruise wind coming out of lovely Birmingham is going to be 265 at 40. So we'll get that in 265 at 40, which is in. Activate Hi guys, that. Here's the load sheet for you. Thank you. There's the load sheet. Self turn 54, there's a 90 of N1, so 90% N1. Go for a climb two, as we're not in no rush today. 1500 feet acceleration height, which is also in and checked. Reduction, I'm gonna put 800 feet in. Flaps five, did we say? Flaps five, which is also in for us, which is realistically gonna always be flaps five. And 4.13 here for the trim. So 141, which we now bug for V2, and our V2 plus 20 will be 161. Going to bug straight up to flight level 270 as it is going to be directly straight up anyway, as we're not online on ATC. Flight directors can be armed, which are all set. And we've got a safety inspection safety checklist. Safety inspection checklist and before start checklist to the line. Safety inspection checklist. Surfaces and chocks checked. Maintenance status checked. Battery on. Electrical hydraulic pumps. On. Landing gear lever. Down. Ship's library. Checked. Safety inspection checklist completed. Before start checklist to the line. IRS mode selectors. Nav. Gear pins. One, two, three removed. Probe covers. One, two, three, four, five removed. Light test. Checked. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Your temper. On. Nav transfer and display switches. Normal auto fuel five six nine four kilograms required five six nine four kilograms on board bombs on cabin utility IFE galley power on emergency exit lights armed fasten belts hey guys all packs were on board are we clear to close on window heat on air conditioning and pressurization yes. Thanks, let me know if you need anything. Okay, so we're going to get the aircraft Thanks, now, ready to go. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Instruments. Frost check. Auto brake. RTO. Auto brake. RTO. RTO. Hydraulics. Normal. Speed brake. Down detent. Parking brake. Just set. Set. Stabilizer trim Ladies cut out switched. Whilst we make our final preparations for departure, Cover crew, arm I would like to introduce you to our safety procedures. Normal. Real well Please fire make warning. sure that your hand luggage Checked. doesn't Radios, block the arms radar or and exits transport. by using the Set overhead lockers or the Rudder area and under the seat trips. in front of you. Three Place and zero. Take off briefing. Place items as possible underneath the seat in front of you. You can make the most of the available space by putting Discuss. the bags PA. in the lockers sideways. Please be careful not to put anything FMC heavy in the overhead lockers, CDU. as these items N1 and indicated airspeed buttons. Auto. Those four, one, three, five, one, three, six, one, four, one, set. Stabilizer trim. May interfere with the aircraft four point zero units. Performance rate on the Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Telephone. Sign and set. Phones. Off. Off. Electronic flight deck. Airplane mode and stop. Airplane mode and stop. Flight deck windows and cockpit door. Locked. Doors. Closed. Doors. So, one of the doors is open. Just shut that off, there we go. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Closed. Passengers? Seated. Before start checklist to the line completed. Okay, so we are ready to go pretty much. Before start checklist below the line. Before start checklist below the line. Air conditioning packs. Off. Air conditioning packs. Okay, just need to switch the packs off, which are checked. Off. And Locking the gear. On. On. Parking brake. Set. Transponder. 
Alt off. Before start checklist below the line completed. Okay, so we're getting lifted up now as we then can progress to leave a lovely Birmingham. So we're going to be uh, pushing the nose to the right, tail to the left. And that should be us all good. Once we're here now, we can just get the 4.16, which is just about correct for the trim. And we are now ready for our pushback clearance. Start sequence is one, then two, as you heard from the uh, first officer. And that is exactly how we're going to do things today. So on the right, right up to the left. Release parking brakes, please. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All engines are clear, and we are ready to push back. So we we'll go for engine, engine one. number Starting one. Starting engine one. Now we're going to see oil pressure start to come to life. N2 is going to slowly start to increase. EGT will then come to life once oil we get pressure. down. 25% would inject fuel and around 56% of N2. We will then see the starter cutout come back to auto. There's 25% for number one. Coming through, EGT now increase. Weather doesn't seem to be too bad out on the departure today. We've got down for Birmingham, we've got 0808, fewer 1800 feet. Temperature is 6, QNH at 995, which is also set and checked. There's another 2E aircraft just as we are pushing back from stand. And 52, around 56%, start to cut out, should hear it click. There we go, there's the click. Start a cut out. Check. Number one stable. Check. Start engine two. Starting engine two. So we're going to leave out to the right once we leave out on the uh, taxiway. Oil I've got, pressure. I've got all the charts here as well for the departure. So on the pins for the airport, we're going to come out and then join in onto Alpha off of Delta. So come straight out onto the right hand turn for Delta and then. Join Please set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Okay, check the engine start, which is good. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Okay, flight controls check. Once we do that, we'll just reset everything back now. So 56%. Start to cut out, which is check for engine number two. Ladies number and gentlemen, two, stable. all portable electronic equipment and mobile phones should be switched off as we are now about to start our pre-flight safety briefing. We are now going to take you through our safety Tow truck disconnected, bypass pin removed. As this information is for your benefit, Left is clear, clear. right is clear. Carefully. The safety card in your seat area shows details of escape routes, oxygen masks, Center. and life jackets. Full it also shows the bracing position, Full which right. you must adopt Center. in an emergency Rudder. landing. Full left. In the unlikely Full event right. of having to use the escape Center. slide, leave all hand baggage behind and remove high heel shoes as they may tear the slide. Please Before now ensure that checklist. your table is Before folded away, your seat back is upright with the armrest down and your seat belt fastened. All APU. The seat belt Off. is fastened Start and adjusted like Continuous. this. Pro and unfastened All. like this. Off. Air conditioning. When the fastened seat belt Lito. signs are Isolation on, valve. you must go back Auto. to your seat Reps. and fasten your seat belt securely. Required. For your own Remind. comfort and Stabilizer safety, trim. we recommend you keep your seat belt units. fastened units at required. all times and visible to units avoid sent. being disturbed Start in impressed. flight. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Recall. If Check. the cabin air supplies Checked. fail, Before oxygen will be provided. Completed. Masks okay. like this will appear automatically. Clear left. Clear right. Stay Close in your seat and pull a mask towards you. This will open your oxygen supply. Place the mask over your mouth and nose like okay, this so let's taxi and on breathe down. normally, so adjusting the band to secure it. Do make sure your own mask is fitted before helping anyone else. Your life jacket is underneath or beside your seat. So as you can see, we're going to take a right hand turn and out the onto Delta 3, cross Delta 1 to Alpha 6. Head. Pass the tapes round your waist and tie them securely in a double bow at the side. To inflate, Pull the red toggle as shown. 
The air can be topped up by using the mouthpiece. There is a whistle here for attracting attention. Do not inflate your life jacket until you are outside the aircraft. We will supply life cots for babies and life jackets for infants. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, please study the safety card and take notice of the fasten seatbelt sign. May we remind you that electrical portable items such as games, computing and word processing equipment may interfere with the aircraft systems and must be switched off during takeoff and landing. Portable telephones must be switched off while the aircraft engines are running. As this is a no smoking service, the no smoking signs will remain on for the duration of the flight. Smoking is not permitted at any time whilst on board. If you have any questions, please ask one of the crew. Thank you. Okay, so I haven't put in a actual uh, add-on airport for Birmingham, so we can go on for our before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist to the line. Before takeoff checklist to the line. Config. Checked. Flaps. Fire. Fire. Green light. Stabilizer trim. 4.0 units. Set. Takeoff briefing. Check speed. X auto bleeds on. Speed one three five one three six one four one set. Stop altitude to this. Flight level two seven zero. Reviewed. Holding at cabin. Okay, we're waiting for the cabin crew now. Cabin. Secure. Before takeoff checklist to the line completed. Check speed. Before takeoff checklist to the line is completed. We're gonna come down, we've just passed Alpha 5, we're gonna go all the way to the end for the departure. Check speed 30 knots max is 35 originally, but 30 knots is triggered on the FS2 crew. So on the departure now to just slow the aircraft down, I'll show you quickly what's gonna happen out on the departure. So the SIP now for the Daventry 2 Yankee, basically gonna leave a runway 15 and then continue all the way through. We've got the 116 decimal four which we're going to get in right now, 116.4, which is in and checked. We are really just swinging. So we hit our speed restrictions, 210, then 250 for five to 6,000 feet all the way to Daventry. So we will level off at some point. We can hit uh, speed intervention and uh, altitude intervention if we want to just uh, basically end them things pretty quick and continue the ascent up to uh, runway uh, 18 right for Schiphol. So let's get ready. Cabin crew is ready to go as well. FS2 crew is a very uh, great application to use with your flight sim, especially with the 737. So we're just here now. We are at the hold short line for Alpha. Clear left. Approach is clear on the left. Approach is clear on the right. Okay. Stand by. Before takeoff checklist below the line. Before takeoff checklist below the line. MCP. Cabin crew seats for departure. Set. Transponder. Dara. Strobe lights. On. Landing lights. Complete the checklist. Landing lights. On. Before takeoff checklist below the line completed. Okay, take your checklist below the line is complete. We are ready to go and blast out of runway 15. So there's only one more thing left to do, guys, and that is to set takeoff thrust. Set takeoff thrust. Stabilized. And toga. Takeoff thrust set indication snob. Eighteen knots. Checked. Reporting. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Positive rate. Gear up. Elnaf. Elnaf. Climb two's in now. And I've checked. 1,500 feet is acceleration high. 
should be all good for us. At VNAV can go in as our up speeds will start to now increase. The aircraft will now start to go onto its acceleration speed to its up speed, and we can then go through our flap settings for the takeoff procedure. So the weather doesn't look too bad, there's a few clouds in the area. As we come now for flaps one. Flaps one. Speed checked, flaps one. Okay, and then we're going to hold that 210 just on flaps up speed once we get through. As we can see right here on the SID departure sheets, which I'll show you in just a second once we get command A in for the autopilot. Flaps up. Speed checked. Flaps up. Flaps up, which is checked. So we're just holding it out now. Let's go through at 3,006. No lights. Okay, check. Command A. Command A, which is also checked. Stand by. After takeoff checklist, air conditioning and pressurization. 1.9 Z. Altimeters. Passing five zero four two feet Q and H nine nine five. After takeoff checklist complete. Happy to release the cabin crew. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, so we're going to release the cabin crew now. We're going to go onto the one zero one track. Okay, which is also checked and set. There's six thousand feet. We can go through altitude intervention. That should then spin us all the way up. Okay, altitude intervention which is on. We should go through from the remaining speed. There's flies all six zero. And we should be able to go all the way up. So we're just trying to hit altitude intervention. There's N1 climb. Now the aircraft's gonna climb all the way up to flight level two seven zero. Some amazing views of Birmingham as we leave out and then proceed westerly to Amsterdam Schiphol to cross over the channel on the English Channel and fly down for runway 18 right. You see the wing flex just a little bit as we uh, depart out as it is a little bit choppy but nothing that would upset the passengers today on this uh, maiden flight to Amsterdam. So there's 10,000 feet coming, we should get our 10 checks. Pass flight level one zero zero. Multimeters. Climbing. Flight level one zero zero. Ten checks. Ten checks. Fuel four pumps on lights. APU air conditioning and pressurization. Three point nine fasten belts. Happy to release the cabin. Recall monitor one two one decimal five zero on VHF two. Ladies and gentlemen, a very your cabin services director for today. I hope that you're comfortable and enjoying your flight so far. I'd like to extend a personal welcome to our frequent flyer club members. It's nice to see some familiar faces on board. Our frequent flyer program is designed to recognize and reward regular travelers by providing additional services and benefits, including lounges, priority check-in, and free flights. Please speak to a member of staff of the cabin crew or visit our website for more information about our frequent flyer club. The cabin crew will shortly be passing through the cabin to commence our in-flight service. We offer a full bar service with a selection of hot and cold drinks, beers, wines and spirits and a selection of snacks. Our meal service will start once you've reached our cruising altitude. Just a reminder to keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated. Our flight entertainment will commence with the news on Channel 11 and a preview show on Channel 1. We will also be playing a short video which we recommend watching to further aid your well-being in the air. The majority of films we show on board are the same as you would see in the cinema. Please refer to the entertainment schedule in your copy of the onboard magazine to determine the suitability of the program for you and your children. Some channels in your in-flight entertainment system can be locked on request by the cabin crew should you not wish your children to see specific programs. Before the news and preview show, we'll be playing a short video for the benefits of our business class customers to help you gain the maximum comfort from your seat. If after watching this video there is any aspect of the operation of your seat that you require further assistance with, 
one of us will be more than happy to help. Those passengers in first, business class and premium economy wishing to use laptops may also wish to use the PC power system available on board this aircraft. Please disconnect if you want to sleep and please don't use the in-seat power to recharge your laptop. Later in the flight we'll be passing through the cabin with our Shopping the World range of tax and duty free goods. For full details please refer to the latest edition of our Shopping the World brochure which you'll find in the seat back pockets in front of you. If there's anything we can do to make your flight more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask myself or any of the cabin crew. Thank you. Passengers and cabin crew, please be seated and fasten your seatbelts. So, we're just passing flight level 190, and before we go to our takeoff cinematics, I will uh, show you exactly your whereabouts. So, we're three nautical miles from Daventry VOR, which is right here. Now, when we come in on the approach for uh, Schiphol for 1A right, we're going to be taking the Red File 1 Alpha arrival and the transition for Schiphol. So we're coming from Redford flight level 230 below, then we hit max 250 knots below 100 and above 70 on our flight level for the altitude restriction. Then when we come for the actual approach into 1A right, we're basically going to come down from Chigol, 31 nautical miles from the Skibble VOR on the Sierra Papa Lima 108.4. We're then going to go into a hold, max 220, flight level 070, backtrack in on the 317 inbound, which will take us all the way round into uh, Skibble and intercept in the 182 for the uh, Victor Papa Bravo ILS DME. So, Mr. Brown Jones, shoot. We're going to be coming in for back up to 2,000 feet if we need to. Localizer 110.1, one, which we've got we'll set and checked on the approach proceedings. ILS, the decision altitude, which is going to be 187 MDA for a 200 foot decision. It's minus 13 on the sea level for the uh, runway. Apart from that, it is a great flight to Amsterdam today. It should be uh, a little bit rocky when we come in, but other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. Unable 250 knots, which is fine. So we're currently now just tracking the 067 and going on to the 073. So thanks for joining me for the takeoff, guys, and the startup procedure. I'm going to leave you with the takeoff cinematics. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a like as it does help the channel. And I will see you when we're out top of descent, ready to come in on that lovely approach into uh, Amsterdam Schiphol for runway 18 right in on the ILS approach. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello 
guys, welcome back to the flight deck as we are in on our descent into Amsterdam at Schiphol Airport. We've just got a few things to do to set up the aircraft for the approach into run 8 right. Should be a lovely approach, you can see it's a little bit jumpy on the descent but nothing too major that the aircraft can't handle. So we've got the approach in for runway 18 to right, which I'm going to show you quickly as we uh, get in on the arrival. So we discussed just before the top of descent that we was going to uh, hit a hold on Schiphol, which is going to then backtrack us onto the 317 to intercept. We've got 2,000 feet on the approach, which is going to be uh, 35238, uh, which is 0.3, so 58.9, and it should give us a 141 which is going to be a plus 5 for a 146, so a VRF 30 plus 5, which is a 146, which is checked. We've got a 187 decision height, which we can go and punch in now, just quickly, because the aircraft, the airport's elevation is minus 13 feet. So we get 189 in, which is checked. In for the 146, which is around 800 feet per minute on the descent, we can see the 182 courses, which we'll drag in right now. So 182. We're now moving on to the 075 to the 110 track, which is checked. We'll drag in 182 as well on the uh, right side course. And then we've got the Victor Papa Bravo, which is the 110 decimal 1, which is 110 decimal 1, which we'll do on both sides to uh, get the ILS up and running. Okay, which is 110 decimal 5. Okay, which is checked. They're both in. And SAP 110 decimal uh, 1, which is checked, and 110 decimal 1, which is checked. As we've got Skipple, which is coming right in front of us, and if we wanted to know how far Skipple is, we could put Sierra Papa Lima in, and we're 27 nautical miles away from the uh, Skipple uh, VOR. We'll get our runway rings in as well, which we'll put in runway 18 right. And we'll chuck in the uh, minus 10 and 5 runway ring ranges, which then we can see. So it will be fully configured by the time we get in at 5 nautical miles from the airport. So we've got the transition altitude 3000. We're going to go back up, cross at 2000, and then basically contact ATC immediately. Tracking the 110 which is all set for us as well. It's so got 200 foot decision height. So we can run through the approach briefing now and get everything all configured and ready to go. Going to use an eight auto brake number one as well for the arrival and we'll arm the speed brakes as we get nearer to the runway. Are you ready for the approach brief? Okay. The arrival routing will be via the ATC assigned star, complying with all published speed and altitude restrictions. 4A ILS approach, planning a flaps 30 landing. Final approach fixed altitude is 2000 feet. Position altitude is 200 feet. Missed approach altitude is 2000 feet. Taxi routing will be assigned by ATC. We'll be arriving at the gate. Birds are in the area, so we will see and avoid as best as we can. Descent speeds and navigation radios are set. Airport notams have been reviewed. Any questions, comments or concerns? No questions. Approach brief completed. Multimeters? I have control. You have control. Okay, so, that's control. We're going to get ready now to do the uh, descent checklist. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude. Zero. Set. Anti-ice. Off. Approach briefing and fuel. Discussed. Indicated airspeed and altimeter box. Free ref. One, four, one, minimums, two, zero, zero, feet, checked and set. Descent checklist completed. Okay, so the descent checklist is all complete and ready to go. Fasten seatbelt signs can be switched on and tell the cabin crew now to be seated. Passengers and cabin crew, please be seated and fasten your seatbelts. Frisk. Frequencies one one six decimal four zero. Rings runway one eight right ten miles. 
Idens, Victor, Papa, Bravo, and Victor, Papa, Bravo. Standby instruments set. Courses 182 and 182. Frisk complete. Okay, check. So as we run now, now we've got the diesel, we can open up the speed intervention and we can slow the aircraft right down to uh, 220. As we come down for 7,000 feet, once we hit down onto the Alpha Mike Bravo, we can descend down to uh, 3,000 now. And we'll take a uh, brief uh, shortcut on the approach as we come through. So we're going to go down to the uh, Alpha Mike 241, go direct in. That should give us a little shortcut into the runway 418 right, which will then save us time getting down onto the turnaround. And it will just be a little bit quicker for us on the approach. So as we now trim round to the 018. Okay, which is also checked. Cabin crew, be seats for arrival, thanks. Zero degrees, should about the engine anti-ice on just now as it is quite cold up here. Let's pass through 7003 and then we've got the intercept which is for 2000, so we'll get 2000 feet in as well. So we should get some lovely views of Schiphol and Amsterdam as we come in, as we're just riding the coast now and we'll give the auto brake open. Let's try the 108. Everything on the approach side has been done. Frisk has been done. Uh, the approach checklist, which can be set. Approach checklist. Approach checklist. Altimeters and instruments. Set and cross checked. Approach aids. Checked and set. Approach checklist completed. Approach checklist is complete. So we're just going to ride out just a little bit from where we are set at the moment. So we're coming down around 1400 feet per minute. We'll start slowing the aircraft up as well. And that'll just keep us up, so 1000 feet in. Now it starts to slow the aircraft and then we can just spin around onto the back track and get the aircraft fully in. So speed brakes are up. And get a flaps five in just to help decel the aircraft. We've got the speed brakes open, which is fine. That's not a problem right now. Flaps 5, which is in, and we'll see the speed now start to drop. And uh, 210 knots, flaps 10 can come in. Okay. Speed brake can come in and checked. Let's just come over 190 now, passing 4006, and activate the approach for the VWAR lock. It should come in. 110.1, VWAR lock's armed. She's checked. Okay, 1000 feet. And that's a 1,005 for 2,000. And inbound we come, passing 4,000. So we're just holding in between flaps 1 and flaps 5. You see the aircraft's just speeding up just a little bit as we we'll, are uh, reaching for the descent. We're not going to intercept until we get to 6.2 nautical miles, so it is okay for us to uh, just keep the aircraft around 1,200 feet. in 3004. Approach can be armed. Speed brakes are armed and checked. Flaps 10 which is already in. That's just that stoop under. Flaps 5 and flaps 10 is exactly the same. 2500 which One is checked. checked. One to go which is checked. VR lock is now armed and in. 2000 to go.
Okay, there's runway 18 right as the aircraft just gets itself aligned up. And at 6.9 nautical miles is where we are going to start the descent down, so trigger the standard. 3000 was a chance. Set QNH 1000, passing 1800 feet, no flex. Standby altimeter set. Check. Okay, nine knots coming from the right. Flaps one. Speed checked. Okay, so you just gotta make sure, because obviously we've gone forwards. We want the gear down flap 15. So I think I'll drop the gear and everything now and uh, handle everything from here. So flap 15, which we go down, just waiting for the glide slope to intercept. Flaps 5. Speed checked. Gear down. Landing checklist to flaps. Landing checklist to flaps. Start switches. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Speed brake. Armed. Green light. Landing gear. Down triggering. Auto brake. One. Set. Holding at flaps. Okay, so we keep it at flaps 30. Check. As there is some uh, funkiness going on. So flaps 30 is checked. We're all stabilized now. Complete the checklist. Flaps 30. 30. Green light. Holding at landing lights. Okay. Complete the checklist. Landing lights on. Landing checklist completed. Okay, so land checklist complete. 187 for 200 foot decision height, which is also set and checked. Get a bit of manual flying in on the aircraft now, so. Manual flight. So now I have controlled the aircraft and I'm flying manually. So yeah, there was a little bit of a um, uh, miscommunication with the uh, flap settings, as we can see. So, we just have to, because uh, I use the iPad to use the FS to cruise, so I can run through the checklist and then basically as we progress through the flight, get them all checked out and the flow's all set. So, we're going to come down, we've got 146 on the approach, so we can drop that down. As the wind just trying to knock us down just a little bit, let's get the speed down. We've got f auto brake number one as we're going to fly down the runway and come down just at the end. Five hundred feet. Checked. Four hundred. Three hundred. Approaching minimums. Two hundred. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Six four percent. One hundred knots checked. Metal braking. Auto brake disarmed. Eighty knots checked. Sixty knots checked. A lovely Amsterdam skipper, guys. Guys, okay, we're just about to come off now. We'll roll up to the uh, taxi. Okay, speed brakes off. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain and the entire crew, we'd like to welcome you to our destination. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, leaving all items of hand luggage safely stowed until the seatbelt signs have been switched off. 
Before you leave the aircraft, please ensure you have all your personal items and hand luggage with you. Please be careful when opening overhead lockers as items may fall out causing injury. We'd like to remind you that smoking is not permitted until you've reached a designated smoking area. If you require assistance when you leave the aircraft, please contact a member of our ground staff. If you're connecting to another flight today and hold a boarding card and transfer wallet advising you of your departure terminal, please follow the signs to flight connections. This will lead you on to your departure terminal and please check your gate number in the departure lounge. To avoid missing your onward flight, we strongly recommend that you go straight to your departure terminal. For those of you who do not have a boarding card, please go directly to the flight connections desk. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire airline, thank you very much for choosing to fly with us today, and we hope to see you again in the near future. Thank you. And welcome to Amsterdam Schiphol, guys. I hope you did enjoy the arrival. I was just going to go to the stand, but it is quite a long taxi down to the gate. But before I take you to our landed cinematics, I'd like to thank you all for joining in today. And uh, the experience in the flight down into Amtrak Schiphol as we left from a uh, little rocky uh, Birmingham airport. I appreciate everybody's support on the channel. And if you would like to uh, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future flights just hit that bell and turn all notifications on thanks for joining me today and i'll see you for the next available flight here on the channel with myself so stay safe and i will see you all very soon bye bye Stay.